Hey everyone, welcome in. This week we're gonna be talking about why your 3D prints aren't sticking to your build plate. Whether you're new or experienced in 3D printing, at some point you are inevitably going to have a print fail due to poor build plate adhesion. And chances are it's not even because you have a poor quality build plate. There are a few factors that go into it and in this week's video we're gonna be talking about what causes bad bed adhesion and how to fix it pretty easily. Before we get into how to actually solve the problem, we're going to talk about the causes. Every single 3D printer has a build plate in some capacity. Some are glass. Personally, I prefer spring steel. And most of these either have a PEI sticker or some sort of coating on them. And these coatings or stickers actually help to promote your parts sticking to the bed. But what can happen over time is eventually your build plate's going to feel like it loses its stick. And it's not necessarily because of something that you did, but it might be. So these plates need to be kept really clean in order to have the best possible performance. So doing things like grabbing all over it with your bare hands, or if you don't print very frequently, letting dust build up all over them is going to be an issue. You can see just rubbing your build plate, if your hands are even a little bit sweaty, you're going to leave oils and grease behind on these any other dirt or filament debris whatever is going to kind of create a separation between the coating or texture on the build plate and your printed materials and what that's going to do is cause your print to not fully stick and when your print doesn't fully stick you're going to get warping or in a worst case scenario your print will be halfway through and fully detached from the bed, leaving you with a complete spaghetti monster. And that can be a real nightmare that can cause damage to your machine on top of wasted time and filament. From this point, we're going to assume if you're having poor build plate adhesion that you've made sure that your bed is level. And most of the new 3D printers that are coming out on the market have some sort of automatic bed leveling system or mesh calibration where there's actually going to be a probe of some sort, which is going to send numbers to the machine that tell it how much to adjust the print head relative to the bed. Basically, this is going to account for minor deviations and things. If you're using an older machine, you might have to actually adjust some screws to level the bed, but that's not the whole point of what we're talking about. We're talking about adhesion, and you have to have your Z offset and your bed level, but we're going to assume you've already done those things. And if your prints still aren't sticking, you might be inclined to go for a band-aid fix and use something like hairspray or glue stick or a purpose-made bed adhesive. And those are all good solutions and potentially useful for insurance on certain prints, and we'll talk more about that later. But if parts aren't sticking to your factory print bed, chances are there's something else going on, and it's that dirt, dust, debris that we talked about earlier. So how do you fix that? What's the best way to clean your print bed? One of the biggest things that you're going to see online for poor bed adhesion is to wipe your bed down with IPA or isopropyl alcohol. And you absolutely should do that. But after a certain point, isopropyl alcohol is only going to go so far. For this, we do recommend using 91% or stronger. Anything lower is going to have a moisture content from the water that isn't going to evaporate fully. The alcohol works great to pick up little things and you want it to dry very quickly because you don't get water spots which will cause in turn worse bed adhesion. That's kind of a quick fix and a general touch-up step. Realistically, to clean your build plate you're going to need to use something that actually has a degreaser of some sort. Personally, my favorite way to clean a build plate is using Dawn Power Wash. No, this isn't sponsored by Dawn and I don't have any affiliate with them. I just personally think that for anything that's really needing a good cleaning, Dawn Power Wash is just the best. It works super great. I use it for cleaning build plates, cleaning off engraved tumblers, things like that. This stuff's fantastic and it sprays in a really controlled way and you can get a really good scrub and a really good lather. It's also going to go a very long way for pulling grease, oils, and other dirt off the build plate that you're going to acquire. Plus. If Dawn's good enough to use for little ducks, it's good enough to clean build plates, right? So 
You don't necessarily need to use Dawn Power Wash or Dawn Detergent in general. Anything that is a good degreasing dish soap is a fantastic place to start because it's going to lift the oils and greases off of the build plate. Personally, I like to use as hot a water as I can stand. That seems to help loosen things up. It may be in my head, I'm not 100% sure, but it seems to work really, really well for me. So you're going to scrub your build plate with hot water and dish soap really thoroughly. At this point, what I like to do is just take a paper towel and wipe it dry. After that, no matter what I've done, as kind of a baseline, I'm always going to come back and hit it with the 91 or 99% isopropyl alcohol. Do you need to do this step? No, but it's quick and doesn't cause any issues. As a side benefit, the isopropyl alcohol is going to help evaporate any leftover water off of your build plate and help you to get printing even faster. And that's pretty much it. Cleaning a build plate doesn't get much easier. And if you're using a PEI or coated build plate like the one from my Flash Forge, chances are that's the last step in the process that you need to do. Now, I'm not going to say that you never need to use a build plate adhesive like this because there are going to be times where that's necessary. Personally, I come from the era of 3D printing when plain glass sheets were really common or people were having mirror tiles cut and using those on machines like an Ender 3. And I was never able to get a good stick from just the plain glass. Personally, my favorite thing back in that period of time was actually to use hairspray. I just used extra strength unscented Aquanet and I got really good build plate adhesion and a mirror-like finish. The issue with that is it can get a little bit inconsistent. So these days when I need to ensure stick beyond just making sure I have a clean build plate, I'll use a product like Magigoo or this Flash Forge glue. The other benefit that you get from that, some materials are going to stick to a build plate too well. If you do a lot of printing with PETG, you're going to know about this firsthand. PETG can actually bond to a PEI plate or a borosilicate glass plate. And if you're using a powder coated sheet or a stickered sheet, when that PETG bonds to your build plate adhesive, it is going to remove chunks of it. And it is actually capable of pulling chunks out of a glass plate which is no good, now you can't print at all. So for cheap insurance, you would want to use a separator layer, something like this Flash Forge adhesive or Magic Goo or Nanopolymer adhesive. These things are really valuable to make sure that parts don't stick too well to your super clean build plate. Whether you're running a hobby print farm or you are just doing full blown production runs of parts, eventually, your 3D prints are going to fail to stick to the build plate, and it's not because your build plate's unlevel, it's because it's dirty. So, using the steps in this video, you can regularly maintain your build plate. Personally, I try to make a habit of actually scrubbing my build plate every few weeks, and then just use some isopropyl alcohol to maintain it. It really does go a long way for helping to ensure that your prints stick more reliably, reduces warping, which in turn is gonna save you time, energy, filament, and by extension, money. If you want more tips like this, be sure to subscribe.